Today, I'm going to show you how to pan fry your store-bought frozen dumplings. And dumplings in Korean is called mandu. And I'm going to show you two ways to quickly fry your frozen mandu. And I'm going to show you how to make this soy sauce dipping sauce, which will make your mandu taste extra delicious. And I'm also going to show you how to make mandu fried rice. Yes, you heard correctly, mandu fried rice. So watch to the end. I know, isn't that amazing? It's a mm. genius idea. Mm. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. Modern Pepper is a Korean cooking channel that offers instructional Korean cooking lessons for authentic Korean recipes as well as Korean fusion recipes. So please do consider subscribing. 맛있는 한식 요리와 한식 퓨전 요리를 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. 구독 버튼 꼭 눌러주세요. So here is our frozen mandu. So like I said earlier, dumplings in Korean is mandu. So today I'm going to show you how to take Korean frozen mandu, but you could use any frozen dumplings available at your local supermarket. So here is my favorite brand that I love. No, I am not sponsored by these folks. I am literally sharing with you one of my favorite frozen mandus that you could pick up at your local Korean supermarket. It is shaped in this rectangular shape. It is stuffed to the max and it tastes almost homemade, that delicious. Now, what do you do when you find three, four clusters of frozen mandu together? What do you do? This is what I do. So you... Slam it, and voila, hello. <laughs> so you need a really, really heavy bottom frying pan, non-stick preferably. Take some water, dip your hand in it, and then sprinkle it on over your pan. Now, if the bubbles don't sizzle and disappear in like three to five seconds, and it's still just hanging out there and staring back at you and saying, hello, how's your day? Or how you doing? Then you need to preheat your frying pan just a little bit longer.
Is our second fry. So you want to loosely cover it up, make sure if there's some air to vent because this is how it's going to sort of cool down a little bit while it retracts all the moisture within. Because if you try to take a bite now, I guarantee you, you're going to scorch your mouth and not only will it be painful, but it really does not look cute when you have to spit it back out. <laughs> now for those of you who are interested in making homemade mandu at home, make sure to check out my video that you see right here. It also includes how to make mul mandu, which is water blanched mandu, steam mandu, which is jim mandu, and kum mandu, which is pan fried mandu. And I also have a recipe on kimchi mandu. Yup, if you've never had kimchi mandu, you're literally missing out. So make sure to check out my kimchi mandu recipe. Now we're going to make our dipping sauce, which is a must. All right, so we have to taste it. Just to make sure it's salty enough for you, because what's salty for me 
may not be. So make sure you grab a bite with a piece of the mandu. Let me just show you. You see that? <laughs> it's so hot. It's so good. <laughs> it's slightly crunchy because we cooked it on really high heat. For me, I'm not gonna add any more salt because the mandu is like giving me so much flavor because the mandu comes already seasoned to some degree. So this is a really nice combo, super easy to make. All right, now it's time to taste our mandu. And this is James. He's our famous mukbanger. <laughs> Say hi. 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 Okay, so James, you take one. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna cut mine in half so that when I dip it, I could actually get some in here. So we're gonna dip it and cheers. Pop. James is eating the very special way, the lollipop way, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, so yum. So Korean mandu in general is made so that the wrapping is very, very thin. Oh, the stuffing on this one's really good. Some of the frozen Korean mandus out there, especially the one that's available at Costco, is so sweet, right, James? Mm -hmm. It tastes like candy. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so sweet. So if you couldn't get yourself to a Korean market, buy the Korean mandu from there. I'm gonna share a tip with you. So to avoid people double dipping in the soy sauce, what I do is I make a little cut in the center of the mandu and take some sauce. And then I kind of like pour the sauce in there. I know, isn't that amazing? It's a genius idea. <laughs> genius idea. So when you bite into it, the sauce is actually inside and not dripping all over your plate. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Are you ready for the mandu fried rice? Yeah? Yes. Okay, give me your plate. There we go. So you always have to get one piece of the mandu with the rice. Normally when you make fried rice, eggs are usually in there, but today I didn't add it because the mandu is our star. You know, egg and mandu, you could add it if you want, but it might be just too heavy. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Good? Mm -hmm. mm. What do you like about it? I like how the mandu's in there, the rice, and the corn, which gives it that sweetness, mm -hmm. and the carrot that kind of gives it the crunchiness mm -hmm. in it. And yeah. Very good. He said exactly what I was thinking. So it's like a medley of vegetables popping in your mouth. And then the bandu bite, it just like adds a burst of flavor to the rice together. So good. So this is kaktugi, which is pickled Korean radish kimchi. Mm. So good. Mm. So when you eat Korean fried rice, we always like to have it with either kimchi or some other kinds of kimchi. And I make gaktugi for the last recipe. So if you want to learn how to make this, make sure to check it out. Boy, boy, as you can hear, it is crunchy. It is so addictive. If you like Napa cabbage kimchi and you like the pickled, crunchy taste of radish, you're going to love gaktugi. Mmm, mm, so yummy. Mm. Oh, look what James is doing. He likes his food a little bit saltier than me. So he's drizzling the soy sauce, dipping sauce that we made for the mandu on the mandu fried rice. Okay, okay. We have people over there waiting, eyeing to eat this. And lucky you, right? <laughs> I wanna thank you so much for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel yet so we can make more Korean dishes together. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 구독 버튼도 눌러주시고요. 감사합니다. All right, so I will see you in one of these videos right here.